Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, let the trumpets blow. <laughs> what a Wednesday here today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is your friend Dano. We are going to be taking a look at these buggers here today. Yeah, I got my glasses on, but we're going to take them off. I can't see a thing near close up with them. Uh, so yeah, so we have got some neat, interesting thing. Let's switch the camera around so we can get into it. All right. All right. Make sure you're hitting the uh, big thumbs up, subscribe button, notification button. All right. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be great. I think I gotta crank this up just a little bit here. All right, hey, big thanks. This is uh, this has been brought to you by well, not really, but uh, yeah, check these guys out. Um, Scott and Lindsay, I've mentioned this these guys before. Uh, they do excellent work, excellent people, hardworking uh, people. They got regular day jobs and they've got a storefront and uh, all that um, still. So they are they are into the, the die cast stuff. So anyway, we are gonna look at these, ba-bam! That's right, we're gonna take a look at these, but first we're gonna do a little history lesson. We've got the first edition, which was this red one with the blue top, kind of rep reminiscent of the old uh, safari tops. Gray interior, gray base, red, uh, I don't know what they call these wheels. I'm sure Hot Wheels has got a name for them, but rear tampos, front tampos, and then the uh, tampo on the top. That is a tampo, and they this first car was horrible. There was a lot of paint tampo chipping, as you will, on that one, but uh, very, very nice. Second one was this a blue one. Here you can see a little bit of that tampo paint chipping and uh, issues there. Uh, same thing, gray base, gray base, gray interior, tampos in the back, tampos in the front, same black wheels with chrome, and just a nice blue. The next one that came out was this uh, Baja Blasters. I uh, got rid of the tampo on the roof uh, because they probably figured, hey man, well, we'll put tampos all everywhere else, but <laughs> here it is, Land Rover number three, Baja Blazers. Yeah, that's a peninsula. I'm not sure which peninsula it is, but it is a peninsula. Uh, all right, so no rear and no uh, front details. Had a gray, a little bit darker gray than this one. So the first two were kind of the same. So it's got this gr darker gray with this darker gray base. You can see that there. That's the way it is. Very, very nice. But And then they did, sorry, they did change the wheels a little bit in that the color. Same wheels, just now with white. All right. The next one that came in the lineup was this one, but bam and I searched high and low uh, around Roverland, and I can't find my loose Zamax. So we're going to start off here uh, opening up a Zamax. Yes, can you believe it? Now, Zamax is um, zinc, aluminum, magnesium, um, uh, uh, well, anyway, zinc... Uh, is the metallic, the metal makeup of these cars. They're all Zamax zinc, aluminum, magnum, something in copper. What's the, what's an A? I don't know. I don't know my metals and I, I can't remember. But anyway, this was from 2020, number three. And isn't it odd enough? It's got a three on it. But this is, uh, again, uh, with the Baja Blazers. So that's what it looked like. Actually, uh, these are Walmart exclusive. Zayn Max is a Walmart exclusive. And what do they do? 12? 12 cars a year? Something like this. So, uh, you know, they did the, the 90. Uh, yeah, they did the 90 back there uh, before. No, later, later, much later. 
But yeah, here it is. Um, the Zamax, no rear, no front. And you can see the Zamax. So these are just like bare metal. Uh, they do do some finishing to them. Uh, there is that uh, Baja Blazers, number three. You know, they put the tampos on there and then they do coat them somewhat because uh, if you leave Zamax out, it will um, corrode. Black interior, black base, same tires, but just with a copper uh, rim around the edge there. So that was number four. Uh, then we move on to the tan one, which was a really nice tan. Uh, same thing there. No front, no back. Black interior. Uh, Baja Blazers. Number three. Uh, same wheel again, but now they've gone with a gray rim and stuff. So, yeah, that's all right. Then uh, came this one, and then this is one, if you guys have been watching, I call this the root beer uh, colored. This is the, this just came out maybe last year? Yeah, last year, or was it this year? Cheese balls, I probably should look that up. But this is the most recent one. Uh, it was a Hot Wheels like pickup series, and uh, they did this one. Now, no front tampos, no rear tampos, black base, black interior. They did go and, well, let's try it again. Roof tampos. <laughs> I haven't seen, I've gotten, actually, I've, I've been blessed and, and gotten quite a few of these and they are, they're a lot better. Striped down the middle of the hood and then the Land Rover badge on the door with the little uh, Hot Wheels on the back quarter panel and then striping, nice color combo. I really like that white on the wheels now. So very, very cool. So that is the complete rundown of the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. So now, ba-bam, this is the new one. This is it, and like I said, uh, Scott got me, uh, well, he, he sold me two of these, and so uh, we're gonna open up <clears throat> We're going to open it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd that sucker go? Okay, there it is. Hey, come on now. Sorry, got to reach around here. All right, so we're going to open up this bugger and take a look at it. So this is the Winter 22 collection. Little snowman there. But uh, yeah, here's the rest of the cars in the, in the series if you're interested. Um... I don't know, that Toyota off-road truck might be kind of neat. I used to collect the uh, the Chrysler Pacifica. They came out some really neat ones when they first came out, but then I got tired of them. <laughs> the carbonator, Angie, she was surprised that the carbonator is actually a bottle opener. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of neat, but uh, you put that on your keychain or whatever or keep it in your pocket. So let's get this bugger open. This is exciting. Yeah, this is... Uh, uh, the first time in uh, uh, Roverland history that I have got something that the um, general public hasn't got first. So we're, I'm kind of excited and uh, just kind of a, uh, I don't know, really a fluke thing that uh, Scott was able to, that Scott got, got shipped. I mean, not that he went out and ordered them. He just, they just shipped them to him. So there's the Pacifica. And then that's the, uh, what is that? Geo, the Geo Terra is on there. So pretty darn tootin' cool there. We'll put that over there. And ba-bam, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So this is different than the Zamax. Um, you can see... So that is just painted gray. This is not Zamax. See how the Zamax is a little bit shinier. So that that is uh, it's different. It's different. It it just it just plain different. <laughs> so we have uh, no tampos in the back. Um, no tampos in the front. Um, and you know, most of these, I, I should, this one had, I didn't mention the glass. This one was the only one that had like a different, uh, glass in it. Oh no, this one had a dark glass window unit too. 
But otherwise, they were all just just clear. I'm really working my. So up, uh, so the Zamax and the one right after that had uh, tinted windows. Now this one has got a blue tint to it, which is really kind of nice. Kind of sets that winter theme, and uh, is is really cool. You know, I I really thought that was kind of a nice add. Uh, so gray and metallic gray, black interior, black base. Uh, so the Tampo is, uh, it's, it does have like a Chevron look here with the Land Rover on the front fender uh, with then a black pinstripe down the side, black stripe down the side, pinstriped with gold and a yellow. It's got the uh, little snowman on there which says Hot Wheels on his scarfs. And then Winter 22 on the back uh, over the wheel. And then it's got uh, snow splatter on there on the on the side of the uh, on the side of the vehicle. So very kind of cool. And then the biggest thing is these have the white wheels with black uh, trim on them, the center and the uh, around the rim. So really cool. I like this. I really do. This is really cool. I hope I get a ton of these. I like the the white wheels on this because you know it's it's it just shows it. I mean, with the splash of the snow up on the car, it's very very cool. And uh, the the winter twenty two um, deco deco um, series is not gaudy. It's not, it, it, it's really a sharp car, really a sharp car. So I'm really impressed. Hot Wheels did a great job. So, hey, comment down below, comment down below. And uh, if you like this and let me know what's, uh, what you think. And uh, yeah, so there we go. All right, that's it for a one up Wednesday. I got to get out of here. Thank you very much for joining me. And remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day!